this video is going to be the things I really wish I would have known back when I was younger and dealing with a lot of acne. Um, you know, things that I know now that I just didn't know before and that would have made dealing with my acne so much easier. Um, and hopefully, you know, this might help some of you guys. Some of because I know I have a lot of um, really young subscribers. A lot of you are still in high school. Some are. Some of you are in middle school. And there are just so many things that I really wish I would have known then, that I know now, that just would have made things so much easier for me growing up and dealing with acne. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get started. Number one thing I really, really, really wish I would have known, and I wish somebody would have told me, and I wish I would have listened if somebody did tell me, uh, is, gosh, I wish somebody would have told me, just because you have acne, it does not mean that every single product that you use in your skincare resume has to be medicated. Most acne medicated products have benzoyl peroxide or um, salicylic acid. Both of those ingredients are very, very drying to the skin. And when I was younger and I had all this acne, my skin was always very, very dry. I went through all of my high school years having super dry skin having really flaky skin and just my, my, my skin was like this or at least it felt like it was stretched out your face wash doesn't need to have any acne medication face wash you just want it to cleanse your skin using a face wash that is acne medicated it's just going to make your skin dry that's it and the same goes with toner another thing I wish I would have known not to fall for false advertisements you see all these like miracle products on TV and you just want to try all of them and two of the ones that I really really re regret trying one of them is proactive because like I mentioned it just proactive all it did it just dried out my skin and I don't know how it works now but when I used proactive I was in high school so that was maybe I don't know like nine years ago I guess nine eight years ago that I was in high school and um I spent, well not even me, my mom, because she was the one that was buying it for me, spent so much money on this stupid crap. The way that it worked then, and I'm, I'm, I think it works the same now, I'm not exactly sure, but the way it worked then is like you would order your trial kit, which came with the face wash, the toner, the acne gel, um, and some like free mask or something, and every after you ordered your first trial kit every 90 days they would send you a new kit every 90 or every 60 days I don't remember but anyways after either 30 or 90 days they would send you a new kit with all of the products in it and of course they sent you the bill for it and I kept opening up each new package that I got because I, I would always run out of face wash and toner and so basically after using this product for about two, two and a half years, I ended up with like 10, <laughs> or I don't know, I just ended up with a bunch of the acne gels that I never even opened, I never even used because the acne gel lasted for me more than 30 to 90 days because I didn't use that much of it, I just didn't need to use that much of it. And all I was really paying for was the face wash and the toner. And in reality, I could have just gone to Walmart and bought and spent like $5 in a, mo in a face wash and a toner. And it would have, you know, been okay. So basically, I was using Proactive for the freaking, I was paying, well, my mom was paying for the Proactive system for the face wash and the toner. And it's so ridiculous. Ugh. And... Also, another little product that I fell for that I so regret is this Thermaclear. It's it's very similar to the Xeno. It's a battery. It's like I was trying <laughs> I was trying to put the batteries in here so I could like make it work and show you guys, but I'm out of batteries. Um, but anyways, it's a battery operated handheld device that is supposed to zap your pimples. Um, you put the device against your pimple. You press a little on button. Dang, it, it, it beeps and it's supposed to send a heat wave to the pimple. The heat is supposed to kill the bacteria and it's just supposed to make your pimples heal faster and it's also it's supposed to prevent them from, I guess, getting as big as they normally would. Um, 
and I don't remember what else it's supposed to do. But this stupid thing, I paid $150 for it, plus shipping. Waste of freaking money. I hate this thing. <laughs> Maybe this would work if you have like one or two pimples. When you have pimples all over your face, you're not really going to sit there and just like zap all of them. And um, for this thing to work, you're supposed to zap each pimple, I think, three times a day. And each time you zap the pimple, you're supposed to cleanse the area. So basically, in order for this thing to work, I guess you would have to cleanse your skin three times a day and sit in front of your mirror three different times throughout the day and zap all of your pimples. Who has time for that? No one. No one has time to do that. And after going through all that, it it's just supposed to help the pimples heal faster. Ugh, I paid $150 for this crap, plus shipping. So not worth it. Here, there are no miracle products out there. So you just have to be very, very careful about buying devices like this one that cost $150 only for them not to work. So really, you just waste the money and time and effort and then you get excited because you think it's going to work and then it doesn't and it's just ugh, terrible. And the last thing I wish I would have known, it would have saved me so much heartache. <laughs> it just, it would have saved me all the scars that I have on my face now. I wish I would have given birth control a try long, long, long time ago. Birth control is what cleared me of my acne. The reason why I don't have any pimples on my face right now is because I'm taking birth control. And I wish I would have known several years ago that all I had to do was take birth control and my skin would have cleared up. But I thought it was a myth. I thought taking birth control for acne, like I, th I thought if it was that simple, then nobody would be dealing with acne. Um, and the thing is, birth control will not work for everyone, but it may just work for you. Okay, well, I'm off to watch tennis now. I'm watching the French Open. It's like Robin Soderling and um, Roger Federer. It's two sets for Robin Soderling. One set, Roger, on serve on the fourth, so it's like super exciting match. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get back to my tennis, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!